if you're an artist, producer, or engineer, the odds are you've heard about this thing called compression. Now, if you're like me, you probably didn't know what it did or how to use it for most of your years making music, but I'm here to tell you that that needs to change. Compression is one of the best tools to keep in your pocket while producing. It's mostly known for its use on vocals, but realistically, it can be used on anything from melodies to even a simple kick drum with the entire goal behind compression to make your music sound just a little bit better. You can use compression to make something sound more sharp and punchy, or the exact opposite and make it sound dull and soft. In this video, we're going to go over how to use compression in the easiest way to understand, and by the end of this video, you're going to be using compressors on every sound you make. Alright, the first step to learning what compression actually does and when you need to use it is to figure out what it actually is. So there's basically two forms of compression, upwards compression and downwards compression. For the most part, you're most likely going to be using downwards compression, which is when you're taking the loudest part of a song and making that quieter. And this helps you achieve a more even vocal that just sounds better overall in music. Now, some people do use upwards compression. This would usually be in different instances, and we're not going to really cover that today. But this would be making the quieter parts louder. So basically doing the exact opposite of downwards compression. Now, you probably still don't understand what compression actually does, so let's get a an actual visual in here so you guys can hopefully understand this a lot more all right so i'm in a completely blank slate of fl studio right now and the first thing i'm going to do is just record some vocals so i'm going to go to insert number one here and i'm just going to enable my mic and now i can hear myself in fl studio so i'm just going to click my record button and just record me talking this is a recording to demonstrate how compression actually works all right i'm going to disarm my recording track and now we can't hear ourselves anymore and here is our quick little recording i did i'm just going to click s on my keyboard and slide this over a little bit, just so it's right in the beginning. And then we're gonna trim off the edge here. And if you're using FL Studio 21, you will have this gain button down here, which you could just increase the volume. And I'm gonna do that just so you guys could better understand exactly what we're doing here. So as you can see, when you record into a mic, there's gonna be some parts that are louder and some parts that are quieter. That's just the natural tone of everyone's voice. As you can see, these would be the peaks and something like down here where it gets completely flat is where it gets quieter. And the whole goal of compression is to squish this together and make it one even sound. So what I'm gonna do is route this over to mixer track one, which it already was because we recorded there. And we're gonna go to that mixer track and I'm just gonna add the fruity limiter. Now I know it's called the fruity limiter, but it does have a compressor built in. We would use the fruity compressor, but the problem with that is there's no visual cue to see exactly what your compressor is doing. So in my opinion, I wouldn't prefer to use the fruity compressor really ever because I'm pretty sure the fruity limiter is actually the fruity compressor just built into that limiter. I'll show you exactly how this works. So you open up the limiter and you just click this compression button right here and now you have a compressor. So this is going to give us a good visual cue of exactly what's going on. So if you just play this right now, this is a recording to demonstrate how compression actually works. You can see nothing's actually happening. That's because we haven't set our ratio and our threshold at all. So the first thing we're going to cover is our threshold. And like I said, the fruity limiter really gives you a great idea of what's going on here. So if you look in the top left of FL Studio, you can see we're bringing this down one minus one decibel, minus two decibel, minus three decibel. And basically it looks like the peak here is minus 7.5. So if we bring this here, we're going to get that compressor to start activating. So basically what the threshold does is you're setting the limit to where that compressor actually activates. So if the threshold's all the way up here, this is the threshold line, that compressor is not going to turn on because the vocal is never actually going above that volume. But if we bring it down here, now you're going to be compressing the entire vocal everything's going to be getting turned down a little bit. That's where you set your threshold. So in general, my best practice is to set your threshold about minus one to two decibels below your top peak. So in our case, it's about minus 7.3. So we might set our threshold to minus like eight and a half to almost 10, maybe even more. It really depends on how much you want to compress this vocal. But if we're going for slight compression here, we're not going to do anything too crazy. So now let's move over to the ratio. This is where you're going to be hearing like the two to one, four to one ratios and stuff like this with the compressor. So ratio is actually something that's pretty hard to understand, but basically it's how aggressive your compressor is going to actually work. For example, if your ratio is set two to one, every two decibels that go above that threshold is going to be turned down in volume by one decibel. And now if you go eight decibels above that threshold, it's going to be turned down by four. And if you keep bringing up that ratio is basically just going to turn your vocal down even more. So I know a lot of the old head engineers do very light work on compression they keep it at two to one and it's just very light compression and that's that's a stylistic choice you know it's it's something that's very minimal and you don't you don't hear a very compressed vocal but most of you guys are following me because of the way i do my yeet vocals and that's a very compressed vocal it's very squished it's a very flat 
sounding vocal, but that's just what we want. So for now, I'm just going to set the ratio to four to one, which is a pretty moderate ratio. And we're going to move on to the attack and release. So if we actually play this right now, you're going to see that we're going to start getting compression and you can see the fruity limiters visualizer right here. will actually show you that this is a recording to demonstrate how compression actually works. So as you can see this right here, right in this little area is where it's slightly turning down my vocal. And that's what I mean. You really have to adjust the threshold because as you can see, we don't have to move the ratio right now, but if we bring the threshold down even more, we're going to get a lot more compression. This is a recording to demonstrate how compression actually works. Now to an untrained ear, you might not notice something right away, but the vocal sounds a lot quieter. This is a recording to demonstrate how compression actually works. We turn it off. This is a recording to demonstrate how compression actually works. It's much quieter. And that's because after this, you would usually have to go about using makeup gain, which is just taking the volume we lost because of that compression and re-adding it in. But we'll go over that later. So let's go on to the attack. So the attack is how fast that compressor is going to actually start working. For example, say the compressor is a hammer and it's turning down your vocal. It's how fast as soon as your vocal kicks in, how fast that hammer is going to actually hit it down. So if you have a really slow attack, like all the way up like this, we're probably not going to get any compression at all. This is a recording to demonstrate how compression actually works. Yeah, as you can see, the compressor never even activates because the attack is just way too slow. But now if we bring it over here, this is a recording to demonstrate how compression actually works. If you look at this like a hill, you can see the hill's a lot more rounded, where if we have this attack all the way down, it's going to be much more sharp. This is a recording to demonstrate how compression... All right, let's pause this. So this was the slower attack, and this was the faster attack. And as you can see, this is much more rounded off, and this is much more aggressive. So that kind of gives you an idea to how you would want to set your attack if you want an aggressive vocal you would actually go with a slower attack because that means although it looks rounded that means it's allowing more of those transients through those like beginning transients whereas if you have a really fast attack it's cutting those transients right away so it's it's going to make your vocal sound a little more dull and less sharpened that's why on pretty much every single mix i have my attack is usually a bit slower to let some of those transients in to get that more aggressive vocal. Now let's move on to the release. The release is very similar. It's just the opposite of the attack. It's how fast that compressor is going to let up and stop turning that vocal down. So if you have a super slow release, as soon as that compressor hits and starts lowering the volume, it's just going to stay. All like all that volume is just going to stay lowered. So if we unpause this and play, this is a recording to demonstrate how compression actually works. You see how long that compressor is staying down? So this is when it starts and then it takes a while for it to go back up. And then it starts again. You can see it's much slower. If we bring that release way faster, this is a recording to demonstrate how compression actually works. If you have the release super fast, it's not even going to apply the compressor. This is a recording to demonstrate how compression actually works. This is a recording to demonstrate how compression actually works. This is a recording to demonstrate how compression actually works. So this is another reason I really do like visual cues in compressors like this, R Comp, and other compressors by Waves, because you could actually see what's going on. Whereas if you don't have a trained ear for what's happening with the compressor, you're going to get really confused and you might not even know that you're not even applying compression or you might not know that you're applying way too much compression. So I'm just going to set this up in a pretty normal way, just moderate attack and a moderate release. This is a recording to demonstrate how compression actually works. All right, so we're going to leave it like that. I'm going to select our recording. I'm going to go to this drop down right here, go to tools, and we're going to go to consolidate playlist selection from selection start. And we're just going to click start and make sure you have your insert effects enabled. This is just going to ensure that the compressor actually goes onto the vocal. All right, so on the top, we have our rendered out file. And on the bottom, we have our uncompressed vocal. Now, you might have to really look at this to see what's going on. Let me bring the volume up on this one here. As you can see, a lot of those transients are gone and the vocal it's just it looks a lot more fat so if we solo out this this is a recording to demonstrate how compression actually works this is a recording to demonstrate how compression actually works so i'm going to delete that bring this back up and we're going to move on to a better compressor. And I'm just going to pull up another compressor here that I like using, which is Waves R Compressor. Now, the reason I like using this is it has a very simple interface, very easy to understand. And again, a great visual cue to understand how much you're compressing. All right, let's just set this to around eight. And we're going to bring our threshold to... This is a recording to demonstrate how compression actually... So as you can see, our vocal is peaking at about six. So that gives us a good idea to where to set our threshold. This is a recording to demonstrate how compression actually works. This is a recording to demonstrate... And this bar right here is showing you how much it's actually getting compressed. So this is a recording. It's peaking at about minus three decibels. This is a recording to demonstrate how compression actually. So that means we're losing about minus three decibels on our vocal. I'm going to set a moderate attack and then a quicker release. It's usually how I like my attack and release setup. This is a recording to demonstrate how compression actually works. So that's with the compressor on and we turn it off. This is a recording to demonstrate how compression actually works. Obviously, it's a lot lighter, but that's because, like I said, we're losing a lot of volume here. This is a recording to... 
We're almost losing six decibels, so we have to gain match. So this is why you have this gain tab right here. This is a recording to demonstrate how compression actually works. So what I'm trying to do now is just trying to gain match it. So I'm turning the compressor off to hear how the volume sounds before. This is a recording to demonstrate how compression and then trying to match it with the compressor on. This is a recording to demonstrate how compression actually works. This is a recording. This is a recording to demonstrate how compression actually works. And that is the very basic part of compression right there. I know that was a very informational tutorial, but of course now what we're going to do is apply a preset. I'm going to show you stacking compression, which is very common in vocal practice. And then I'm going to show you how it actually sounds with some auto-tune and effects on live so we get like a little freestyle going. All right, so I just loaded up my Yeet preset here, which just has a few, few different plugins on here. We got some EQ, auto-tune, two different compressors, which is our R comp right here, and our CLA-76, another compressor by Waves. Got some fresh air and a de -esser. and I'm basically just going to show you guys what these compressors are doing. So I'm going to go find a beat real quick. All right, so I got this Destroy Lonely beat. So I'm going to just set the auto-tune to B minor because that's what the song is. And then we're going to go to our first compressor. I'm going to activate my vocal here. And as you can see, as I talk, we're losing some volume right here. This is where you can see the volume is getting taken out. I might want to set this threshold a little lower because I want this to be compressed a bit more. As you can see, I have a pretty quick attack and a, a slower release here. And then we go to our stacked compressor, which is our CLA-76. This helps bring up more volume after this compressor. So if we were to turn this one off, you're going to see the vocal get very quiet. Yeah, you can see this is way quieter than before. And if, you, if we take this first compressor off, you might not notice a difference, but if we turn it on, it sounds a lot more in your face. Let's go to the CLA-76. And as you can see, the settings are pretty much the same. I'm going to increase this release actually all the way up. The attacks just sit in moderate and our ratio is at 4 to 1. And I might adjust this input to get a little bit more volume out of here. There we go. Now it's really activating. And this is the way I like my vocals to sit. I think this sounds good right here. So I'm going to give you guys a quick example of what it sounds like by just freestyling on this. We just learned about compression. I might pull up, do your bitch some chest compression I know what I do, but I'm not crazy, I'm not crazy, no I might do it all again, I might go insane and so I'm moving slow, 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 mo I gotta get my diamonds up, my diamonds roll Yeah, roll, 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 roll your bow Let's go, let's go, yeah I think I lost my mind last night, yeah I might have to go and get a pipe. Yeah, I'm talking about the gay. I'm talking about the gay. Let's go. Yeah, 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 yeah. Can you 